Hey, what's up? This is Sifu Cuddle, and for this video, we're going to be working with the staff and then flowering it in front of the body, but passing it underneath the legs. So, let's get to work. Okay, for this spin, you already need to know how to do the front propeller spin. So if you don't know how to do this, check back in one of my earlier videos and then you can get that down and then we can work on this because essentially it's going to be that spin with the staff. You have to be very accurate with the hands, the transfers and the timing because we're going to start lifting our legs to do this one. Okay. Now, um, let's start with the staff all the way out. We're going to grab with our right hand uh, with, this, with the tip of the staff, which I have marked with the tape. So I'm going to go thumb to thumb, grabbing in the center. The tip of the staff is on the same side as my right hand. Now I'm going to turn it so it goes straight down. Okay? This is going to set up for my first transfer. Okay? Now as the tip of the staff comes down, I'm going to lift up the leg, keeping the knee bent so I can lift it up even higher and put the staff underneath, rather than having to bend down to compensate for it. So again, from our center grip, tip of the staff pointing towards the right, on the right hand side, I'm going to lift up my knee, and then I'm going to come up underneath with my left hand. Okay, so as I do this, I grab with my thumb pointing out, palm up, scooping up underneath. I'm going to continue the spin until the tip points straight down. This makes my thumb point straight down as well. Okay, so again, let's start with the center grip, tip the staff to the right, dip the tip down underneath the knee, grab with the left hand, palm up, and then continue the rotation until it points straight down. From here, I'm going to grab with my right hand, with my thumb pointing towards my left. This will allow me flexibility into the spin. If you grab incorrectly, you will have no flexibility. So here we want to grab with the right hand thumb down, and then the bottom end of the staff is going to scoop under our left foot. And again, the same way, our left hand is going to come up and scoop underneath, and then turn it so that the tip is straight up. Grab with the right hand, scoop the tip underneath as you lift up the right leg. Bottom, the left hand is going to come up from underneath, grab the staff, turn it so that the tip points straight down. Right hand is going to grab over the top, thumb pointing down, scoop underneath the knee, left hand is going to come palm up, grab the staff, and then continue the rotation so that it's tip up. Now you'll notice it alternates. So every time I scoop the tip underneath my right leg, I end up with the left, with the left hand, I end up with the bottom end of the staff, pointing straight up and the tip of the staff downward. After I go underneath the left leg, I end up with the tip of the staff pointing straight up and the bottom end of the staff end down. So again, right hand, scoop underneath the leg, continue the spin, left hand, underneath the leg, continue the spin, underneath, underneath, underneath. Continue this until you can get it down, nice and comfortable in a smooth motion. And even as it moves fast, you grab with the correct timing, and the tip always goes under the right leg, the bottom end always goes under the left leg. All right, so there you go. The application of this technique is more to develop coordination and dexterity and timing. So moving the staff around, getting the timing so you can catch correctly and move under the legs, moving the entire body to keep a smooth motion going is more to develop that strength and coordination. There's really not any martial application that goes with this one. But when you get used to moving the staff and the comfortability of moving and passing it between the legs, you become more aware of yourself, aware of the weapon, and that awareness will pay off later on in your martial arts training and application. Okay, so get this one down, keep practicing. This is Sifu Cuddle. We'll see you next time. Bam! Fist with a bow out.